I am Ladu LP Diorodento Kulang. We are students of Don Bosco Senior Secondary School Gender-Based Violence Club. We are privileged and it's our pleasure as Don Bosco students. Our club has undertaken a peace project since 21st of July 2018. The project describes what we, the students of Don Bosco, are doing to promote peace in our school and in our community. It is also a symbolic gesture of how we students and everyone else can be peace builders in our country. It is a symbol of peace among us. It is a symbol of peace in our country. Peace is a process and not given. I cannot think of peace when I don't have peace within me. This peace garden has taken us two months to be how it is now, but it is not very easy. It is indeed a difficult task. In the same way, we have to strive for peace in our country, South Sudan. In the garden, there's the picture of the heart. And what exactly is the symbolic meaning of this picture? Well, I'm Atta Philip Morel, a member of the gender-based violin at Don Bosco Senior Secondary School representing the meaning of the heart. The meaning of the heart means that peace starts from the heart of a human person. It starts with me and then it spreads to others. And the two hands that are holding the heart in design is a symbolic way of giving and receiving peace. In South Sudan, peace is being supported by different types of organizations, mediators from outside. In the same way, we need to reciprocate this gesture. We need to give peace first to our fellow citizens and then to the whole world. And how can we promote peace? By talking to others about peace, our parents, our neighbors, and our enemies as well. In this garden, we are going to think on how we are going to sustain this peaceful environment and where we're going to read and learn about each and every human right from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Well, we need to know that it is difficult to build peace, just as it was difficult for us to come up with this peace garden, digging the ground, planting the flowers, watering it daily and weeding it. It was difficult. In the same way, our people are suffering with no food, no education, no peace and no security. But we can look at the garden. It's bearing different types of flowers, which are sharing the same atmospheric condition. We can reflect this to the people of South Sudan. Can't we live in peace just like these natural flowers? Yes, we can. We need to know that all human rights are an integral part of any peace process. They need to be respected by everyone at each and every given time and anywhere they have to be respected. What are the specific issues under Peace Garden? Well, we cannot deny the fact that in South Sudan, human rights and the right to peace is violated or abused. Because according to the UN, up to 2.4 million children are not going to school. And that's due to an ending conflict that has led to displacement and economic crisis. Majority of their parents cannot afford to pay for the school fees of their children just because they lack stable jobs. Girl-child education in South Sudan is being hindered by social cultural norms that girls are to be married. Compared to our students here and the students in developed countries like the New York, we lack easy access to education. For example, one of our GBV club members walks more than 10 kilometers to and from school every day. Sometimes she can't even reach home safely, more especially after 7 p.m. in the evening. And that brings us to issues to do with the security. And many more issues to, be, to mention, but a few. What are the important lessons we have learned from this Peace Garden project? Unity, commitment, diversity, forgiveness, hard work, love, cooperation, perseverance, peace building, tolerance, right to life, patient, endurance. Has to have sight. Tolerance and forgiveness are really needed to have durable peace in South Sudan. We need to forget about the past and move on as one people. Only then shall we establish a beautiful nation just like the way we have established this beautiful peace garden. We need to know that durable peace is not only a one-day event, but it is an ongoing process. Therefore, we're going to continue on sustaining this peaceful environment and we will also improve on it more. And we'll also commit ourselves to continue building durable peace in our country by supporting the government initiative on revitalizing durable peace through the recently signed peace agreement in Khartoum, Sudan. We need to know that all human rights need to be respected by everyone, everywhere, and at each and every given time. And this is all because we, we all, all have, have the right, right to peace. peace.